What's going on guys, Victor here. I got this Florida Kingfish, also known as a King Mackerel. We caught down here in sunny South Florida. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to flay this thing. And I'm gonna be using an eight inch Dexter knife right here. These are knives that are made in the USA. I will have all of their stuff linked in the description box below. Now, with these flay videos and with this series, I realize that there are a hundred different ways to flay a fish. And I realize that you can eat fish whole, steak them, got them there's all different ways so whatever works for you but this video in particular is just going to be taking the sides off or the fillet the traditional western way that people eat fish so what i'm going to do i'm going to flip them over to this side i'm going to start over here lift his pec fin up start over here tip of my knife into the head we're going to go down to the ventral fin and then i'm just going to go from the tip of my knife from his head all the way down to the tail and making sure it's just the tip I'm just making the outline of my cut and kingfish have very soft flesh so you got to be careful because you can easily get to the other side of his backbone one nice long stride no sawing motion all the way to the end of the tail we just got interrupted there was a drone flying over our heads so now the most important thing when you're flying kingfish too is make sure they're nice and firm and what I mean by that is make sure you ice them down properly because kingfish in particular can be really mushy and it makes it really tough to flay them if they're not ice cold. So we're going to start over here where, or we're going to continue over here where our tail was. And I'm just going to lift with one arm, my left arm, the flesh from the bone and I'm going to continue to work my knife alongside his bone just like this. Separating. And what you're really aiming for is you're going to go until you feel his backbone, but don't go anymore because if you do, you're going to miss me on the other side. So you just go until you feel that backbone, just like so. We're going to come up here and we're going to take this flap, the top half, and we're going to go over his rib cage. You're going to separate it right there. And then now that we have the other side of the backbone exposed, I'm going to take the tip of my knife and angle it down. Because as fish get larger, their backbones get larger, and if you just go over the backbone, you're going to miss a lot of meat on the other side. Now I'm going to come over here back where the rib cage was. I'm going to continue to go down and just working my knife down and just separating the flesh from the bone. I'm gonna cut the tail off like that and then I'm just gonna bring it back down towards me. And there you go. So now we have one side of the kingfish and if you look right here, this is what I mean by his rib cage. You don't wanna go through this, you wanna go over it and you see that there's very little meat left on the kingfish. It's mainly just bone if you run your knife across it. Okay, now we're gonna take our kingfish, flip them around, and I'm gonna start over here by the ventral, go up into the head, tip of my knife. I like to have my kingfish nice and flat and close to the edge of the table, because you always wanna kinda be eye level with your knife or just above it. You know, you don't wanna be all the way up here. You wanna really see what you're doing. I'm just taking the tip and run it along that backbone. And no sawing, just one nice long smooth stride, just like that. Okay, and now we can do the exact same thing we did on the other side, and just bring it back towards us. And it's not a race, it's just all about getting your maximum yield. And the more, you take to the more you take your time, the better you get at it. And then you end up missing no meat on your flay. So now when I get to the other side, you can hear your tip of your knife getting blocked by something. His backbone right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the head. And now I'm going to do the same thing I did before with getting my knife over the ribs. And then now when we have the other side of the backbone exposed, same thing. Knife tip down. And 
now we can finish out our foot. Yes. And there we go. That's what it should look like. And this is the perfect eating size. The bigger they get, the mushier they get, and the more gray the meat will get. Now when you get to this point, you can either leave the skin on or off. My buddy Ryan, who's taking these fillets home, he likes them with the skin off. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now, to do that, we're gonna start from the tail. And you have to be very careful because kingfish got extremely fragile and soft skin that is really easy to penetrate. So we're gonna start right here. And we're just gonna try to make contact with the skin at all times kind of angle my knife not exactly flush but a little bit of an angle just work it down and it helps to have your left hand going with you and it also helps to sacrifice a little bit of meat on the skin so you don't pierce through it nice long strides That's what it should look like. So see how I sacrifice a little bit of skin? Don't go crazy, don't get to be a keyboard warrior. It's like this much, it's a tiny little bit of meat, but that's what you end up with. You can get rid of the skin. I like it personally. Now the only thing we have left to do is there are these pin, pin bones that start from the head and end about halfway down the fillet. We're gonna go ahead and remove those. They're always right next to the bloodline. So you take your knife on both sides of the bloodline just like that, and then here on the other side. And kingfish often gets a really bad rap as being a really fishy fish or a trash fish, and that is because, let me show you guys. Number one, the meat is mushy. It's kind of gray. They got a mean, they got a pretty nasty bloodline. So if you guys are not gonna eat kingfish fresh, I highly recommend to smoke it or give it away because they are not the best fish to freeze whatsoever. And I think that's where they get that, that bad rap because people will try to freeze them and then take them out of the freezer four weeks later and it is just, it smells really bad. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Now since Ryan is gonna be eating this fresh, I'm gonna leave the bloodline on. If you're gonna eat in a few days, I probably would take it off. So that is done. Gonna put this in the cooler. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you guys like these videos, please make sure to leave it a big thumbs up. Now if you guys are interested in the knives I use today and have been using, these are all Dexter knives. They've been around since 1818, all made in the USA. You guys can find them at DexterOutdoors.com, also linked in the description box below. So that's all the time I got for you guys today. Thank you once again and I'll see you in that next one.